Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 8 of Ceftech Ages. I'm Mark, and today we're going to hopefully move from age 0 to age 1 of Ceftech, because we're getting close to the end here. We only have four uh, advancements to take care of, and of those four, I only think two are actually required to move forward. So... <clears throat> Uh, before we dive into that, I do want to point out a couple things. Uh, the first was that I did some research on what we were going to need for the uh, heater and melter parts. And one of the things we needed was another uh, flame grilled whopper, which meant we needed more shadow gems, which we have. There's another shadow gem. I went over and killed a bunch of shadows and compressed some of the fragments and shards we had up and got a shadow gem out of the deal. But it wasn't without some cost. Uh, I got overrun by shadows at one point, which was one of these deaths. And then the other one, I was actually out doing some exploration. And if we look at our book, you can see that I found, you know, a magic circle. There's a tower, a couple skeletons and a hut. And, uh, you know, I, 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 Went up and down this far coast a little bit. Um, but I got jumped by a skeleton while I was uh, trying to map a spot. And uh, got jumped while I was on the boat and died a horrible death. So uh, so we got what we needed, but it wasn't without some pain. Uh, so I think today the first thing we're going to do is jump right in and make a couple things. And one of the first things I want to make is a better weapon. And the weapon I want to make is the Bear Claw Paxel, which I believe is relatively easy. I stumbled across a couple bears in my exploration, and they gave me the extra claws I needed to make this. So let's go ahead and put this together. And this should be a better offensive weapon for us. So this is going to do attack speed 5, 6 attack damage compared to our sharp bone, which is slower. Same attack damage, though, so not that much different. Uh, I don't know if this can be repaired either. It looks like it's a mining tool, maybe? Mining level diamond? Uh, I guess all tools show that. Anyhow, I'm going to give that a try and see how it goes. So the next thing we want to make is actually the carriage, or cart, I guess. And the cart is pretty simple. If we look at the recipe, it needs two advanced chests, some wood planks, some wheels, and a slab. And I th think I have all that stuff in my inventory. There's the wheels, there's some planks, there is a slab, and... What else was it? I thought there was one other thing I needed. Uh, two chests. Which we should also have somewhere. Yep. So let's go ahead and see if I can throw this together. Should be wheel, wheel, slab, chest, chest, and then wood. I think that's it. And I don't think this is a necessary, uh, I don't think this is necessary to uh, complete the age, but I wanted to go ahead and make it. And there is our wagon. And I don't know how this works. I think we just took a horse up to it. So let's see if the achievement actually tells us. Craft cart and attach to your horse by horse shift click the cart to open its inventory. Wow, that's a big inventory. I know what that's getting used for. Just storage. Um, do we have a spare horse? We do have a spare horse. I did tame a horse so we could go riding and run into torches, apparently. But uh, I haven't done much with it. Let's see if we... If we, oh, it works as a mount. So how do we, I'm not sure how we connect this to the horse. Right, 
we broke it, so can we connect it to the horse by just putting it on the horse? Does the horse equip it? No? Oh, I need to find an action key to do that. Well, I'm not super concerned about that right now. Um, I'll have to look at the keys and see what actually lets me do that. Um, so, we have three things left. We have to make the heater, and we have to make the melter. And that should get us to the next stage. So, to make those, we need a whole bunch of porcelain bricks. And we need this stuff here to make at least one of those. We also need these clay barrel extensions. So, I think that's most of what we need for this. Uh, let's take a look at the recipes. The heater is just six bricks plus the clay extensions plus a, a stone grill. And I thought I had a stone grill somewhere too. Is that in here? Yeah, there's one. So we can move this out of the way and this and this. So we got something like that and then we do a vertical column, put the grill at the bottom, and that, and then we... That gives us the melter base. So I think this is a too high block, which maybe it'll fit right there. Yeah, this is going to be like a heater unit, I guess. And then we make the melter itself, which looks like that, and then... Uh, I don't think that's right. The melter, oh yeah, it is right. So we need another grill, the whopper, and the chest. Oh, we don't need the shadow gem. We needed those. Oh, I need to make the other uh, flame grilled whopper. That's what half this stuff is for. That's why I was confused. I got all the stuff to make it, but I didn't actually make it. So, if we look at this, we need to make this. So, we need a shark tooth and a couple red totem planks, which we have. So, if we do that, and then we do this, shadow gem, shark tooth, that. Is that right? I don't think that's right. I think I'm missing something. No, that's right. There's our whopper. And then, now we can make this. So we put you at the top. And then we do need the other grill that we had. And we need the other chest as well. That's what it was. So whopper, chest, grill, and then all the porcelain bricks. And I think I did something wrong. Yep, I did. That looks better. We are in age one. And it only took us a day. So that goes there. So this lets us melt stuff and make ingots. So I'm guessing that means we have some ores available and we have materials in you, which hints at potential Tinker's Construct stuff, which is all good because I'm really tired of constantly remaking tools. I'm going to sleep quickly and then take a look at our book or our... Uh, advancements. So this is the tier zero advancement tree and we still do have this boss battle to do. Um, I did look at this boss battle and in order to do the ceremony we have to do among other things parrot taming, converting parrots into eagles, getting eagle bones, and making an eagle whistle. So I'm gonna hold off on that for now. 
Um, but we should now have a bunch of other stuff to take care of. And I know the first thing I want to do is to get a regular crafting table and a regular chest and a regular furnace. Because I'm really tired of the crafting rock. So let's go ahead and see what the crafting table recipe looks like. Is that just vanilla? Let's find out. It is. So we have a regular crafting table. Which means this can go away. But for now I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to put this here. Well, let's see. If we actually have tinkers, do we have tinkers tables? Nope. At least not by vanilla mechanisms. Or at least not by the usual recipe. Uh, craft, crafting table. Huh. I wonder if that's new for this level or if we had that before, the, the Mark II stump. Interesting. Oh, we have Astral Sorcery coming up, it looks like. Uh, okay, well, we can't make the Tinker's Table, which is what I was checking out. So, but at least we can do, like, regular crafting now. Um, so, that's the crafting table. Let's look at chest. Is it a standard vanilla chest? It is. Yes. Uh, must make all the chests. Yeah. So uh, my first task is probably going to be to reorganize a lot of inventory. Uh, is it regular furnaces? How much of this is vanilla recipes? That is, yeah, it's cobblestone, so we can do that too. Let's just knock out some of these recipes quickly for vanilla stuff. Just stick that right there. Um, yeah, I'm going to end up rearranging all this stuff very quickly. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to just stick this stuff down on the ground right now, so I don't have to deal with carrying it. Um, but I am going to rearrange this. So, uh, what else looks interesting? Uh, channels for uh, tinkers. I don't know how this works. I don't know how you get stuff out of here. I'm wondering if we have to use channels for that. Um, I wonder what kind of ore we have. Tin, copper, coal, black quartz, uh, random other stuff. No iron ore? Hmm, I don't see any iron ore. Uh, let's take a quick look down in our cave. Let's see if anything is showing up that we can mine. Because we do have that big uh, cavern down below that maybe will show us something useful. There's nothing in here. Do I see anything obvious and exposed out there? I do not. Oh well, it was worth trying. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Uh, wooden basin. Wooden basin looks like a good thing to do. I did make a bunch more leather, and, and let me tell you, if I never make leather by hand again, it'll be too soon. So let's see what this basin takes. There's the wooden basement. Basin. So that's just wood with a stick. So that's wood and some sticks, which we have plenty of. Oh, it's so nice to have an actual crafting table. There's our wooden basin. So I wonder what we use. Do we have buckets?
Well, we have molten buckets, but I don't see empty buckets. I mean, there's an unfired clay bucket. I bet we can make a regular clay bucket on a turntable. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess that's going to be a little more complex. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, we can make the hunting dimension. Uh, oh, we can make aqueducts. What have the Romans ever done for us? We can make plates. We can make barrels. Oh, we can make a hoe, so we can actually make real, like, farms. Uh, but prospecting. A weak dowsing rod sounds interesting. Let's see what the weak dowsing rod is. That is easy to make. So much new stuff to look at. I don't know what to do first. Oh, and we have a new manual. Uh Oh, this gets complicated quickly. Okay, I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and read all that on camera because reading stuff on camera is boring. Uh, so let me figure out what that does at another time. Uh, what else can we make that's quick and easy? Uh, plumb the depths to discover your Y level. We're getting a lot of weird little side tools. So this takes a bolt of string and a rock. Uh, which needs a whole bunch of string, which we may not actually have. We are running low on string. So let me go check our farm. Our farm that we can expand now because we can actually just tow dirt. Yeah, we're not getting a whole lot of string out of this. And we don't have any nearby sheep, so that is the other source of string we could exploit. But... All our sheep are down by the village. So I'm not going to run down there every time I need string. Uh, and this is hemp fibers, which are, as far as I can tell, useless at this point. So let me dump this stuff in here. And uh, give me a minute to figure out what I want to try and do here. Okay, I think I'm going to do a little bit of work to get us further along Tinker's Construct. Um, I think we might need a channel to actually pull anything out of here. And I was looking at other achievements, and uh, some of these need, uh, need us to be able to make metal parts. And we can't do anything with metal until we actually get our melter up and running, I don't think. So I think we're going to have to figure out how this works. And to do that, we need seared bricks to make the channel and maybe a casting table. And uh, to make seared bricks, we need grout. And to make grout, we make mix uh, gravel, clay, and sand in the uh, millstone and get very hungry while we do so. And I moved our crafting table because putting it there actually blocked the millstone so it wasn't going to work. And there's two grout for us. And we are going to consume a lot of food doing this. Which is good because actually our food levels were were kind of awful prior to this. Um, oh, that's one thing I should show you. I actually made bread. Um, 
we were making flatbread before, which was just ground flour put through the uh, grill. And now we can make actual bread, which we, uh, if we look at the recipe, it's just dough. And dough is just uh, flour, salt, and water combined. So I did a bunch of that and made us some bread just so we had a slightly better grain food source than we had before. Because I think this is 2.5. Yeah, 2.5 grain versus, I think it was one for the, uh, for the flatbread. The flatbread was just kind of awful. So, in addition to doing this, which is obviously going to take quite some time, we can use our furnace to smelt this stuff. And I did make a bunch of charcoal. We can use our furnace to smelt this grout into, I hope, bricks. And the first bricks we need to make are a channel. And the channel should just be, I think it's uh, five, five bricks. Oh, does it want porcelain channel or a casting channel? Did I make a, did I make a mistake? Let's see what we're making here. Pour liquids into a channel using a normal or porcelain faucet. Uh, well, I guess we'll find out because we're going to end up making both, I suspect. Uh, I'm going to sleep quickly. Be right back. Uh, it's a lot more grinding and we need a lot more flint. Um, that means I might want to put our uh, sieves back in or our uh, strainers back in operation because that's how we were getting quite a bit of our gravel. Let's see if this qualifies. It does. Okay, so we have our channel. Um, so I guess what we need next is probably a crafting table or a casting table because we want to be able to pour stuff out of our uh, melter and into a casting table although I don't see that anywhere on our recipe let's see what happens if we try and connect this well, it looks like that's going to pour in maybe I don't know it seems clear that I'm gonna to have to experiment that did connect so maybe that's how you can pour liquids into that I guess what we probably need is a faucet let's try and make the standard faucet Okay, so we can put a faucet there. We should be able to have a faucet drain. Should be able to have a faucet drain into a channel. Yeah, so if we put a casting table here, that should work. Let me, um, let me grind some more junk and uh, some more grout and make make a casting table and see if this will actually give us the appearance of working. Back in a minute. I think I was making things overly complicated. I'm kind of thinking that this might actually be all we need to pour stuff out of our melter. Of course, we actually need to be able to put fuel in our heater and... Uh, have some ores to put in our melter to actually make uh, liquid metal and I don't know if we can do you have a recipe I was wondering if we could just melt stone to make uh, to make more ingots but we don't have any casts yet either I guess we can make clay casts maybe we can make clay casts let's see what kind of cast recipes we have we have no cast recipe recipes, so maybe we need to unlock some more stuff before we can do that. Um, 
that I'm not too concerned about at the moment. Uh, aqueducts seem like they're going to be useful. Uh, I think we can make the barrels. Let's let's make the barrels and the extensions because we have a, we have a good bit of clay, and these recipes are fairly simple. So I think the barrel is like so, and then the extension was just like this. And I think we need to just fire these again because we did make the extensions before for the last age, but I think we have to make them again just to get credit. There's the barrel. And is that the extension? Is that going to give us credit? Uh, place it on top of a barrel. So I don't know where I really want to put a water source. We will stick it out here for now and then there we go. So this should be a big water source for us. Uh, of course, I have to figure out how to get water up here. And I think that's going to be aqueducts. Alloy kiln. Uh, find a surface sample and dig for copper. Uh, maybe I'll just take a roam around and see if I spot anything useful sitting on the surface. I don't know if we're just going to be able to see these or if we're going to have to uh, have to find specific uh, use specific tools to access them. Uh, I'm not sure what our Y level is here, but given that that's water level, we're probably, we might be too high. I mean, clearly I'm going to have to delve into the prospecting tools and figure out how that works, but I just want to take a look around without going into that, and I actually want to test our Paxel. That does some pretty decent damage. We're not seeing anything all that different here. Maybe we go down down here a little bit. We do have a couple of torches. I don't think I have any tools with me. And that drops off immediately into the depths. Not a very good place to go mining. Nope. There was another cave over this way. Oh, we have uh, we have Walia. I just noticed that. We have a little tooltip up at the top of the screen that's telling me what things are. Nice. This is a dead end. I haven't spotted any new samples or any kind of new materials yet. But I haven't really been digging down anywhere either, so... So that was just some flowers. There was a cave over here somewhere. I wonder if we can make actual torches. Oh, we can make vanilla torches. Excellent. So we can make charcoal with an unlit torch to make two torches. Okay. I will upgrade all our torches shortly. This doesn't really go anywhere, so... It seems clear we're going to have to actually do a little research and figure out how this prospecting stuff works. This goes a bit deeper. But again, I'm not really seeing much... Not really seeing much down here that's uh, anything we haven't seen before. So... 
Maybe we'll call that a bust for now. I'm going to have to do a little research and figure out where we go next. So, I think that's it for this episode. Uh, we made some progress. Not We got into the next age, but we haven't made much progress in the new age um, beyond some basic mm. life, life mm. improvements like uh, mm. vanilla crafting benches and mm. furnaces that are going to make our life easier. Between episodes, I am going to make a bunch more storage, um, replacing our primal chest advanced with vanilla chest, because if we look in here, that's that's 14 slots, and a vanilla chest is, what is that, 3, 6, 9, uh, 27 slots, so almost double the capacity. Um, and they're cheaper and easier to make. We have plenty of wood, so that, that's going to be my Between Episodes project. I'm probably also going to rearrange some of this because we're probably not going to need the kilns anymore because we have vanilla furnaces. And uh, I'm not sure we're actually going to need the grills anymore because we have vanilla furnaces. So I'm not sure we can actually, can we actually cook food in the furnace? That would be a good thing to test. We can. We also have tiny charcoal, I think, so I should probably start using that just to conserve some resources. I wonder if we can just cook charcoal in the furnace. Let's see if we can cook wood in the furnace and make charcoal. No, it makes ash. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> I guess that's some alchemical. Uh, oh, it's blood magic. Or at least some of it is blood magic. And it looks like all of it's blood magic. At least for now. Um, so. Uh, progress, but more work to be done. I am going to look into prospecting and see how all that works. I might make some of the tools we need, like the uh, plumb bob, and I will probably be harvesting a bunch of uh, string and such between episodes just so we can have the resources we need to deal with some of this stuff. So until next time, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying SevTech Ages. I'm having fun with this. It's a uh, it's a certain certainly a change compared to Stoneblock and other modded Minecraft packs that I've played. Um, the usual: hit like, subscribe if you're enjoying things, hit the notification bell to find out when new videos go out. Leave me a comment about the series if you have any thoughts, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Talk to you later.